Jenny with Planner Perfect and Designs by PlannerPerfect.com. Um, I today we're going to do a really great study today. We're going to. Yesterday I touched on um, about finding your purpose, and this definitely touches on that. Today we're going to be talking about how to map a life that you desire, and I think that. It's something that us women really need to be able to know how to do because if you don't know how to do it, you can't create it. Um, if you don't know how to change your habits and write a better story, then then you can't map out goals to, to create that better story. Um, so for all the new women that are here and joining us, hi Christina, for Project Me, um, glad you're here. This is a core class so that you can discover who you are, find your purpose, unravel anything that's getting you stuck, changing the paradigm, which are basically your thought patterns, get you out of ruts, and moving toward leaving a legacy. So that is definitely what this core class does, which then enables you to basically be completely planner perfect. You will then be able to use these plan books to their fullest. Um, I am a homeschooling mom of eight and I'm an artist and I created plan books and um, for women to plan beautifully and to write a better story. I teach women how to write a better story and that is my purpose and I use my talent to help inspire you too. So everyone here is equipped to do the same thing. And when we learn how we can ultimately serve other people is where our purpose lies, okay? And I think too, if I'm speaking to any mothers and me being a mom of so many, I really do come from the heart of that. Hi, Finn, Joanna. Um, I come from the heart of that and so um, you know being a mom of so many there's definitely challenges but I think all women can relate to what I'm going to be talking about here are some things that I want to discuss today and I will try to keep it shortened and not so lengthy but I do want to really touch on certain topics that are really going to help you map out that that life you desire um, it's really a life planning little bit of a 101 and you're going to want to take notes. If you've got a plan book, I suggest you get it out because I really would like to show you how to kind of dive in and use this new knowledge. Um, if you're kind of new at this or kind of experimenting and discovering this and wanting to know how. Um, so, but even if you do know how, this is still really juicy tidbits. Um, so we're going to talk about how to problem solve and how to live a life you want. Now, honestly, do we not come up with problems in our lives all of the time? Every day, there's going to be a new problem to handle. Um, and then that's the absolute truth. And I think what can happen to us, and especially if we're busy, and I'm talking from, this is from experience for me and how I've learned to, um, handle it. Um, and that is, you know, we're going to talk about how we can manage problems because problems really are good for us, honestly. Instead of just reacting, we can actually problem solve. And that's something that we need to think. Thinking is key. It's the premise behind the whole plan book method. We're going to talk about problem solving in your life so that you can get out of finding yourself in the same rut all of the time. You can actually use the plan book <laughs> I'm problem free. Um, you can use the plan books to actually map out a life that that brings and produces results and changes, no matter what and where or your role is or what you're doing. Um, so why we're exhausted, we're going to talk about why we're exhausted, but we're fully rested. Have you guys been there where you're completely wiped out? It's 10 a.m., but yet you're fully rested. I mean, there's a reason for that, and we're going to talk about it. Um, why busy without purpose makes you reactive and stressed. Sometimes we're busy, and we don't even know why we're busy. We're just busy. If we put purpose behind what we're doing, and we're mapping out a life that we want, we will not be exhausted, first off. So we're going to talk about what types of busy we ought to really be doing. 
okay? Um, we're going to talk about how to map out a life that, that you desire using the plan books. I mean, this is what they're for. And the Coral class was designed to get you prepped and ready for this, okay? Um, why your goals should align with your purpose. So every goal that you have, if, I mean, you got to be thinking about your purpose and people discover their purpose and their calling and um, you are, um, your role is not your purpose. So that's got to be something that everyone understands. So if you're a mother, your mother is not your purpose. It can be your passion, but it's not your purpose. So we got to understand the difference, okay? <laughs> And so, um, how to utilize your scripture book, um, so that you can focus on what truly matters. Because if we get out of step with putting God first or whatever, then we're already reeling backwards. And now we're, um, working on our own understanding. And here we go again, another day trying to utilize our own energy, our own efforts, our own wisdom, when we are only tapping into just this much of the possibilities and the promise and the energy and the time and the wisdom that we could get, which is already here for us. God wants us just to pull it down and get it from him. He's already provided everything we need, but so often, especially us moms, when we're, when we're so busy and caught up, we don't even rely on the strength that he's got for us. We just you know, coast along, just surviving. That's all we're doing. We're not thriving. We're completely surviving. And so we've got to get back to the word, get in there and utilize and, and actually take what God's given you. He's like, here, here, I have this for you. I, I, I am here for you, but we don't overdo it. Now remember we're spiritual beings. And that's very important for you to know. We are more than what, there is more than what we can see, hear, smell, and taste. There's more, there's more. Just like how you can't see um, sound and you can't see how or why our internet works. Same thing. I mean, so we gotta really get to know this, that we're spiritual being, beings, that God made us in his image and we are incredible and he gave us so much. And he, when he uh, died on that cross and redeemed, redeemed us. So let's keep that in perspective. And that's something we should be touching on and how we can do it when we're, when we're so busy, how we can make time for him. Um, why goals written with details change your habits, habits. And ultimately I've got something in my eye. It's going to drive me mad. And how we can, when we go, how why goals written with details change your habits and then ultimately change your paradigm. We talked about this before. We're going to touch on it again because it's so important. That's why details matter. That's why I'm all into details. That's why I'm into scripting big. That's why when people to ask me to please make a plan book and field note size, I'm like, honestly, and I'm going to say it to anyone who's asking me all the time about it. You cannot map a life on a field note size paper. And that is the honest truth. Now, you could maybe journal, you could write your passwords on it. <laughs> but honestly, girls, you need a book to write a better story. And that's, I'm going to leave it at that. So let's dive in, shall we? So we're going to go right into how to problem solve, how to live the life you want. Now, um, <clears throat> and the biggest, the first place to start off is truly to find your purpose. Now, we kind of discover it. Okay. And if you're at a place right now where you don't know what your purpose is outside of, let's say the roles that you're playing or what you're doing, you're not happy with where you're at your purpose. You're going to, you're going to fall into it. If you know what you're looking for. So really sit down and, 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 and write out on just even a blank piece of paper. What do I like? What do I love when you're with your family? What tends to be what you go toward? And you know, what, what do you, um, now if I were to look back, I used to always draw stuff for my family all the time. Um, and like I would draw Yosemite Sam. Okay, you know he's my favorite character. And I would draw Yosemite Sam. The kids would ask me, Taylor specifically one time asked me to draw Yosemite Sam. I spent with colors, okay, because he gave me a color. I said, hey, give me the whole box, please. And I would spend, I, after, after about 30 minutes, they got bored. And so the kids left. And I spent with my tongue hanging out, drawing Yosemite Sam so perfect and so great. The kid, I put it up on the fridge, okay. <laughs> and the kids were like, hey, um, where's that Yosemite Sam picture? And I was like, 
no one's touching it. It's on the fridge, okay? It's signed and it's gonna be framed, okay? So that was me. I utilized what my talents were within my family all of the time. So kind of check out and see what you're doing. Um, and, and, um, and, and, and then hone in on that and, and take that and focus on it. So that's what I want you to do. So, um, focus on what you're good at and then start to realize, Hey, that's my talent. Now, what, what else can I do now? I've always wanted to be a teacher always. And so I've loved empowering people to better their lives and figuring things out. And that's what I'm doing. And that is my purpose and that is my calling. And I use my talents alongside it and it's amazing. And I want you to do the same thing. So what can you do to ultimately serve other people with what you're good at? Every single one of us has the same potential and every single one of us can tap into this. So that is something that you can really use these books for. So that's the one thing that you're gonna really always keep in the top of your mind when you're scripting your life and you're planning a life and you're writing out goals, just start to dream and think about what you can do and with where you're at. And if right now in the present moment, if you're not very happy with where you're at or what's going on, just always do, and this is my main philosophy all the time, do everything you do well. Because even if when you're doing that, number one, you're glorifying God, you know, because you're doing everything you do well and with integrity, but you also then will see your strengths and what you're good at. And when you're doing things well, you'll find out where you shine. So I want you to always know that. And believe me, you will discover your purpose. If you have these in the forefront of your mind, or instead of thinking, I will never become anybody. I don't think I have any talents. And I have a girlfriend, I mean, I haven't spoken, we don't talk very often, but I have a girlfriend who will, uh, you know, really admit that she has no talent and she's knitting up hats in like one second. I'm like, are you crazy? I mean, sometimes it's just right in front of your, your face too. And um, so always keeping in the forefront what you love, what you enjoy, and how you can serve other people with that and leave a legacy. How can you leave the world a better place once you're gone. I mean, honestly, and once, so um, that's just really, you know, you're more than the role that you play. Let's dream huge again and let's write a better story. Let's not just, like I always say, a lot of us moms in particular love to push their kids into the glory promised land while leaving us out, you know, out in the boonies. Kind of like, you know, where's my honey? And all of that great stuff. <laughs> and the key tipping point for me was honestly being jealous of my son, Taylor. Who wants to be jealous of their own child? I don't. So when I saw that he was painting and, 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 and having the time of his life and doing what he loves, I was like, must be freaking rough. Okay. And then I was like, Jenny, you paint anyway, you make the time, you carve it out and you do it. Whenever you wanna ultimately do what you love, make time for it and map it out. I've been doing it ever since. It was a game changer and I've never looked back. So you're going to want to always make time for you. This is Project Me, right? Am I in the right place? Okay, am I in the right place? This is Project Me. You ignore you, you ultimately can't serve anyone. So put yourself on the front burner, take care of you, figure out what's getting you stumped and figure out what you like and what you love and you go for it and you be ultimately an example in all areas of your life because your purpose, you're serving other people. You want your children to serve other people. You can't tell them to serve without being an example. So serve the world with your gifts and talents and show your children what it means to serve the world. That's why God gave us gifts and talents. We're to evolve and find the, our purpose as God to reveal it. And um, we are, we have an assignment. Every single one of us has an assignment to do. So figure that out, put it on the front burner. That's what we're doing, okay? So um, why are we so exhausted anyway when we're fully rested? Well, I've been there. I know what it's like. I, I mean, I... I know what it's like, okay? <laughs> I know what it's like to be completely exhausted but fully rested. And that goes into problem solving. And let me tell you something. My mom is a juicy nugget of complete wisdom. And sometimes 
You need that strong person in your life who you can go to when you're a wreck and they can just put you right back into place of what you already knew. And I can get there and every one of you can get there, I'm sure. So you always need to make sure that you have that strong, solid rock of a person who can all just get you back to what you already knew. But you, they just, you know what I mean? You get swept up, you get busy, you get, you forget. You're so busy, you forgot that one person can get you right back on course. So lean on that one strong person, you know, have that one person you can say, this just isn't working, my life is a wreck. And then all of a sudden, you're back and good as new, all patched up with what you already knew was right, and you're back on track, right? Well, that's who I lean on a lot. Aside from my husband, it is my mom. And she just, oh man, juicy nuggets, okay? And she is a life coach. She's a certified life coach. So in number one, she's she's been like a life coach my whole life. I mean, that's, that's how she is. But, um... Anyway, you know, the main reason why we get exhausted when we are, um, even though we're fully rested, is because we're reactive. So when you are reactive in your day, let's say your days aren't mapped or planned, maybe they are planned, but you're not following them and, and things are coming at you on the daily, okay? But you're not solving those problems you're daily reacting to those same problems, okay? You could easily put children in that slot, okay? Because I know that that's my point of reference for me. And children can come at you with the same problems, the same issues, the same um, uh, discipline issues, the same behavioral problems, and you're fighting the same battle every day, and you're exhausted, and you're like, is it, what am I even doing? What is, it, what is happening? Well, here's the, here's the deal. You need to problem solve. You need to problem solve why this is going on and how you can get out of it. We are creative beings, you guys. And, and we're going to, the reason why boredom even exists is because you're not tapping into your creativity. That's the only time and you're really why you're bored. Um, so you're creative, problem solve. This is how you think. You know what you do is you dive in what I do, because whatever is going on in my life that is a problem that is thrown in, that's a continual problem, I go, if you're freezing, try going out and coming back in. Sometimes that'll help. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go into the month that it's happening in. That is why I set goals. There's goals for every single um, month. So here is your calendar, and then here are your goals. Hello, goals. There is plenty of paper to put project whatever is the problem you need to solve. Let's say it's a child. Let's say it's anything. Let's say it's a relationship. Let's say it's anything. It could be anything that is your problem, that is a continual problem that you react to on the daily. And you realize, you know what? I'm just exhausted and I'm unhappy. It's time to do, I would, I mean, for instance, I'm like Project Bella. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I've been working on with my Bella, okay? She's 13 and she has um, an autoimmune disease and so she has alopecia. Now, if, if you, that she's the patches of hair loss. Now, if you could imagine how horrifying that would be as a girl, it is. Okay, so I found this out that she had it when she was two years old. Now I cried a, a river. Okay. I cried a river. Okay. Um, and for years and years and years, of course I'm a Christian. I've been a save since I was seven years old, but this is what I knew. And so I did it. And everything I did, and there's nothing wrong with this, but I left out God the whole time. Everything I did was all about diet. I got to fix this. I got to, I've, I've got to problem solve this. So there is that balance of figuring out what you can do. Okay. And relying on God and taking and pulling healing from what God has given to us, which is healing. So this is something that now for me, now this is what this is what I mean by, let me backtrack a little bit, but I'm just giving you what I'm dealing with, is what she'll do is she'll come and she'll cry and she'll say, oh, I'm having a sleepover, this spot's gonna show, what do I do? Or she'll stare at me and she's like, I, I can't even go swimming now. And it's it's heavy, okay, it's heavy. And we've been dealing for this for uh, 10 years, 
okay? And I'm like, is this ever gonna go away? Is there a time in your life when you look at that, Bella, I don't care how old you are, and you say, this is what is going on, now what do I do? So in retrospect, I see that okay, we went through cycles. So we'd be praying and crying to, I'm like, get the heck over it, to pray, praying and crying, to just reacting all the time because she'd come at me at different times and I'm already heavy laden and I've got a bunch of kids. Well, I was like, well, for heaven's sakes, I've got a project, me this thing. I've got a project, Bella. So over in my goals, it's project Bella, okay? And I map out what I am going to do to her, a point of reference for her every time she is scared, feeling insecure, when she's hurt, when she is obsessing, when all of those things that can come at me at any given moment throughout the whole day, all day, every day, seven days a week, okay? Um, I have now where it is verses that we will now reference. I'll be like, Bella, remember, we're referencing this is the promises of God, okay? And this is teaching her, and it's teaching me, and it's amazing. So then I teach her how to praise God in the interim, in the in-between, before we, before we see that manifestation. And God does that. There's a time there before you receive these things so that God can strengthen our faith, okay? If he gave us everything on a split of a dime, what would we ever need faith for? So God gives us that time where we're praising him for what he's already done. Now that's my point of reference for Bella. So now I've got a project. I'm, now I'm mapped, okay? Now I know in a calm, non-reactive way that when my Bella comes to me and says, what am I going to do? I can't swim. Um, and she's a crying heap. I'll be like, Bella, remember, this is the promise and we're gonna pray that promise. Let me pray with you again. If you're struggling, let me pray with you again. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna praise the Lord. We're gonna praise him for what he's already done because we trust him that he's already done it. Let's not revert, I gotta teach her not to revert back to, oh, woe is me, because then we lose faith. So we're building that faith, that's my project, Bella, and we're problem solving our lives. There's no more reacting, okay? There's no more reacting like, oh, this is driving me crazy. As a mom, we can be driven mad. And we need to learn to problem solve so that we can have the life we want and give our children the life that they deserve, right? So that's how you can do that. It can go with anything. If I've got a child, I've got Project Blaine. Believe me, okay? Project Blaine is like top-notch priority. And it's like, what can I do to my baby, for my baby, who's three, which is very difficult age, where they don't hardly, they don't really take naps, but if they do, they're a bear, and if they don't, they're a bear. It's like, what kind of perpetual nightmare is this? Oh yeah, I've done it seven other times, okay? So I've got Project Blaine, and it's like, what can I do to calm him down? What can I do when he does this? He does things like, it's like, you can just hear, here it comes. as the same old, same old. But now I've got a plan. What am I going to do when this happens? I can revert to it right away. There's no panic. There's no stress. That That's exhausting. We were never designed to be stressed. You give that to God. Now I'm going to get into how God fits into this in a second. But for right now... I know what to reference, what to do. I've already mapped it out in such detail. I don't look at it. Oh, what do I do? No, that's where the details lie. The details tell you everything. It's your ha you're creating habit in details. That's why I'm pro detail. You know, women try to say, well, why do I got to write that out? It's kind of ridiculous. I do it every day. Well, because I'm creating a habit. I'm changing my paradigm. I'm creating a flow of what I work on by automatic pilot. And that's why the details are there. So, I go in there and I script it out and it took lots of thought, but that forethought is what is makes a life planner, which makes you have the life you want, which gives you a life of prosperity, of, of um, abundance, of happiness and joy. That's what this does. That's what this method is. And so use it to problem solve. So you're going to, I go in there and I just already mapped it out. When he does this, I'm going to do that. When he does this, I'm going to do this. When he wants this, I'm going to do that. And what I'm going to do proactively before he even gets to this point. 
So I have this mapped out, okay? So um, because I have it mapped out, I am not exhausted. I have a plan. I'm mapped. I my my it takes a load off my brain. I'm no longer oh gosh, here we go again. That kind of a thing. If things aren't working, why do the same thing? Um change it. Figure it out, map it out and change it. So, that's how you can problem solve. You can do that with your own body. You can do that with you are dealing with physical ailments as a mom if you're struggling with uh, it's, it's like limitus of what could possibly be wrong physically with our bodies. But problem solve on how you plan on um, what you're going to do nutritionally and all that to take care of your body. And then, then we are going to be relying on God and, and praising the Lord for what he's already done. So now we've got a map. Now we're filled with joy. Now we are just, we're visionaries, we're life planners, we're problem solvers, okay? Um, so that's, that's so vital, I can't even tell you. It's a matter of being a stressed, stressed out, haggard mother and a joyful, happy, beautiful mother. That's the difference. Either, if you're doing something right now that you hate, then figure out how you can map it out so that you can um, live joyfully and happy again, okay? And it's really up to us. It's our choice to do it. So you are not a victim. You can live a happy, joyful life, I promise. And God has given you everything you need to fulfill his purpose and we need to believe that on on just the basic level so that you can tap into it okay and you can use these life books so that you can be all you can be and map out that kind of life so um so your goals should also align with your purpose. So once you start to really discover what you love and all of that, and you're kind of discovering that in your goals, it re should reflect. I've even talked about it in a previous one. I could, I can tell you where you're headed by what your planner looks like and what's in it. Okay. By the content of your planner, I can tell where you're headed. Um, and so your goal pages should just be full and flowing, full of amazing things that you want to pursue because you are more than a mom and my passion is being a mother i love my family i am passionate about my family i will be home and i will serve my family to the best of my ability and i homeschool them and i chose to do that and so there is a certain mapping that has to be done so that i am sane and that i can do this effectively and back to project me it is what i need to do so that i can serve effectively in my family and for me so I've even, for me, in setting goals, for me, my everything I do, the goals I set reflect what my purpose is. So if my purpose is teaching and um, teaching women and creating, um, writing a book and um, painting and creating plan books, then my goals are reflecting that off of that purpose. So if I've got to, st I've, I've decided because the latter half of my kids are all boys and let me tell you, they're a different breed and I know you women know, um, they, they are, they are loud. They are, <laughs> I don't even need to tell you, do I? So I've decided, you know, I need to get out twice a, a week just to clear my head and to, to, to know me and to refuel my cup and to paint in peace and quiet and to listen to my favorite pastors and podcasts and to get refueled. And that is vital. So if you're in a situation or a scenario where you feel like that too, then make sure you're project meeting yourself in your book and you're allotting time for freeing up mental space. Okay. You don't want to work on reserves. We're not meant to work on reserves and I feel like especially as moms it doesn't it's not limited to moms 
We work and operate on reserves. And what does that make for? A crabby mom, okay? Really, really crabby. So project me this, okay? Put down, map out, what do I need to do so that I am fully living, so that I'm joyful? What do I need? Write it out. Put out the details. Make it happen. So um, that's what you need to do. Um, so your scripture book. Now, this is the nugget my mom gave me that I thought was just amazing. Now, I have said in my other scopes and things how I've said, you know, a lot of times I'll just get up out of bed. And really, this is how I map out my days so that I thrive and not survive. OK, um, now, if I notice if I don't follow this, that I'm definitely in survival mode. And I mean, I'm drowning. OK, and I'm someone needs to throw me a raft really quick. OK. <laughs> So I know what it can be like, and that's why I'm so passionate about this for you guys, because it's really life or death. I mean, it's, it's, it's a matter of, listen, surviving, who wants to just survive in this world? You got one life. You want to thrive. This is vital. Write it down. You got to make sure that you are taking care of you. You're writing out details. You know your purpose. You know where you're going, and you map out your life accordingly, and you write out the details because that's where you change the paradigm is within the details. So instead of like on a separate piece of paper every single day, writing out everything that you want to have happen, you can easily do that within your planner just every day when you're writing. So what you're doing is you're changing your paradigm. You're confessing it. You're saying it. You're like, I, I receive this. I, I am this. I own one of the confessions, confessions I'll say too, is I only, I only, um, uh, eat when I am hungry. And I am never interested in food when I am not hungry. Um, I quit eating when I am satisfied. Okay, now that's a great confession because then you change your paradigm. So, you know, if you are one to be prone to be like, hey, you know, that cookie's just laying there. It looks really good. And you're not hungry or you're full. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Just confess and say, you know what? I only eat when I'm hungry. I'm not interested in food when I am not hungry. Don't let any be there any other gods that you worship. And one of them is diet. So let's stop dieting and listen to the body, the cues that God gave us. Let's confess and, and create a new paradigm where we can actually enjoy life, enjoy food, enjoy wine, enjoy what 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 is here on this earth and and um listen to the cues of our body. We're not worshiping it. We don't overindulge. We don't worship it. We don't count calories till we're nuts. It's just a matter of listening to our bodies. So that's a great thing to confess. And that's a great thing to write in your planner. And that ultimately right there, it's set up, this planner is set up to change paradigms. That's why this planner is so freaking awesome because it's set up to create a life that you want. And you write the details, you change paradigms. You're, I'm telling you, it's like, this is a game changer girls. This method is a game changer because you're confessing what you want instead of writing all the things down that you hate. You're only going to write down what you want. You're mapping out a desired life, an ideal life, what you want. Go huge with it too. I mean, just start going huge. That's why you've got more months down the road where there's in a long-term goal book where you can say, well, if I, if I want a building for my business, I'm talking personal. Uh, and a workshop, which uh, that's one of my goals, to have an office with a uh, workshop. I can hold workshops in there. That's in, you can better believe it. That's in my long-term goal book. And I've got a date on it on when I want that to happen and to pass. So it's kind of like that. You're dreaming big and you're writing it down, everything that you want to do, and you're being detailed about it. And you're not fooling around, okay? You are not fooling around. Um, so... Back to what I was going to say that my mom told me to do. When how you can put God first. Now what I was going to say, this is your daily regimen. This is mine. Feel free to move it around in what you want to do. But um, my mom said, you know, Jenny, okay, number one, I got to get up at five. If I don't get up at five, pfft, someone throw me a, 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 a buoy, a raft, a, a, life, a life raft, okay? I'm going to sink really fast. I have to get up early. I've got to go to bed at a good time and I get to get up at five. It's a game changer, I'm telling you. You have to, you, if you're a mom, you gotta get up early. It's the only time in your day you can control it. Other than that, you literally can't control nothing else in your day, nothing. And you've got a map, 
you do you're mapped but that's the only time that you truly can really get things done you are in control there's no one around you that's gonna be doing anything to you it's just you so get up early now my mom I go well mom I like to get up early right away because I find if I sit down right away I get into the words so much that pretty soon all the kids start pouring out and it's been two hours <laughs> and then I'm, I'm, I'm honestly I'm screwed I, I, I am I mean the the nothing is planned and, and ready and I'm in the rears and I'm showering and kids are crying and, and the whole thing is a mess I was like enough my mom goes here what you do every night before you go to bed um, be now I have this app actually on my phone so instead of like dead panning through Facebook okay let's say at 5 a.m. or whatever I got this Bible app and it will trigger a um, and prompt me and give me a verse for the morning to memorize and so you can lay in bed okay so my mom goes this is what I've always done I kind of pick out a little life verse and a verse that I want to that relates to where I'm at where I'm headed and where I'm going how it means say make sure she said make sure it means something to you and it, it's something that you need to know and you need to put in your heart okay so I've been putting what you do is you stay in bed so like for 15 to 20 minutes this is where I'm pleading the blood over my family so I'm I want to protect my family now God that's a blessing and a promise from God so I am like I'm pleading the blood his blood over my family my business the people that work for me um, my wherever we step wherever we walk that his favor and his protection is over my family and friends okay now that's something I will do automatically and right away and I list through my family and close people to me okay and then I will go into a verse and I will recite it and recite it and praise him and recite it and praise him okay now that is my 20 minute morning meditation and giving God my first okay I love it that's a juicy nugget girls adopt it if you are busy and you are a mom that really finds it a hard time to get into her devotional book then this is something that's a game changer that can get you off into God first and you've got him in the heart you're doing it you got this okay now then what you're gonna do is then get that top three done now that is just to me I have to do it whether I do it night before bed or whatever in the morning I get up and I get the dishes out of the dishwasher and I start a load of laundry and then I take a shower so I am completely ready for everyone okay um, and then what I'll do is then I'll get into some breakfast for me and then I will um, dive into my scripture book and now I can sit down this is what I'm currently I was in my black beauty Shakespeare up and I put it in joy um, but I put her back in here because it's gorgeous and so here I am in my scripture book and I have uh, check out my video my YouTube video on how I use my scripture book and it will really help you I divide it into what I'm needing so there's hope and trust and promise and the prayer of Jabez and there's healing and all of that so I will then now dive into meditation of verses diving into the scripture listening to my favorites and getting into that mode with a cup of coffee my kids can come in pour on me lay on my lap I am dressed I am ready I am armed I got the full armor of God on I am ready okay and that's that's like that's a game changer for busy moms okay now you that's a great time to plan because all night long you know you got all these things that that your brain has just arrested so now you can also then get into your planner um, here's a little sneak peek that's coming up this is for all mothers attention okay uh, you're gonna love this beauty school calendar inside stay tuned for that but in here this is where I'm you do your planning you get in here it's September almost guys next week I'm in there with my goals it's the great time to just get everything out of your head start projecting me everything that you need to figure out and solve this is to then where you're in your scripture and you're giving God and you're pulling strength from him you're you're um, you're you're receiving healing you're going over the scriptures you're meditating and you're confessing so all of those things um, so you, all of these things then I mean it arms you you are ready you're ready for battle okay you are ready for battle okay and you're ready and this helps you this this you're, you're a visionary you're a life planner you're a problem solver you know where you're headed you you know what you love you you go after your passions you want to leave a legacy you're a powerful woman I mean 
you you are a powerful woman you're you're a woman of influence okay so you need to have that mindset you are a very powerful woman and a woman of influence and it's time we get and we act like that okay and you can with the right tools and the right mindset you can have the life that you desire and that is truth so I think that that kind of let me see if there was anything left that I wanted to touch on before we call it a wrap but that was I'm just I'll touch on it this is how I'll close is that I am a big 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 um, pusher for writing out details of your life and it is within the details that you will find success in everything you put your um, foot toward because you will be confessing all things that you want to have happen and all things that God has promised us so when you do that then you are acting out and walking out that life as though it were already there already happening so if you need you want to be debt free then you writing down I am debt free my house is paid for um, my my suburban paid for um, and then you just live in faith and walk that out now we don't go and you know write hot checks okay but we are now being fully aware that that is what and who we are and what we will be and so we confess that we confess what we want and and it's all here everything that we ever need everything that we should be already ours is already here we just need to tap in and grab it and confess it as though it was ours God spoke the whole world into existence we need to speak the power of the tongue is either life or death we speak life into our children and into our own souls and we speak what we want and the map and map out the desires of our hearts and um, God promises that that any mountain to be removed and the, he promises to give us the desires of our heart according to his will my gosh it's all there it's it, we can have that that is his will for us is to live abundantly to live joyfully to live happily to be um, protected um, all of those things and so when we when we are um, when when we change our mindset when we map out a life that we deserve and know that we should have then we are living now a life that we desire we are living a better story <laughs> we're writing a better story we're leaving a legacy and we, we've got proof that, that, that of what we've written, that we're, we're writing it all out. We're, this, is, this is our confession. This is our life. This is, this is our blood. And what we're, it's just everything. So, guys, I hope you're having a most amazing Saturday. That was my little life planning tip 101. I mean, honestly, you'll need to probably go over this several times because it's important. Everything I touched on is like gold in terms of being able to change your life and creating a life that you want okay and that you deserve and that God wants for you okay so you need to go over it listen re-listen take notes do it dive into your plan books write goals script out a life with details only write things that you want and uh, write a better story girls write out a life that you desire problem solve don't react anymore problem solve problem solve then you have an action plan you know hashtag it project whoever that's what I do and saving my life I'm a mom of a ton and believe me I got some experience <laughs> in what can go wrong <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys have an amazing blessed day I love you guys every single one of you means the world to me honestly and the way you guys support each other and love each other in this group is just it's amazing and it's a thrill and a joy to see that we are changing our lives and in turn changing the world honestly we're game changers guys this group we're game changers we can change the world by just changing ourselves I love you and until next time